You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Rainmaker is here. Join award-winning sales expert Jackie Rainforth as she empowers you with the confidence and information to up-level your skill set and performance while helping you to overcome any of those sales challenges that are holding you back, costing you valuable business. So please welcome your host of Make It Rain Sales, Jackie Rainforth. Welcome, everyone. Hey, it's Jackie from Make It Rain Sales. I have an amazing stat for you today. Guess what? Did you know that people who social sell make 87% more than those who don't? Yeah, and I'm glad you're watching Make It Rain Sales on Bold Brave TV Network because guess what? We want you to make 87% more sales because on today's episode, we are going to talk about converting and connecting on social selling so that you can make 87% more sales. That's right. We're going to talk about the three stages and the eight C's of connecting on social selling. We're going to talk about the things to avoid, the biggest mistakes that you should be avoiding. And we've got a special guest. Yeah, Lisa L. Wealth Strategist. And she is, oh my gosh, she is the bomb when it comes to doing cold calling and connecting, making those super, super conversations online so that she can connect, make those superstar customers and bring those customers in into her network. That's what she does. She is the cold call leader of doing that. And she's going to share her tips and all her superstar secrets with us today. So she's also going to tell us all of the, the special things that she does, the things to avoid, how she does that, her system for bringing it in. So without stopping, without wasting any more time, we're going to get started. I'm going to tell you about the three different ways, the stages that we that I use to do it. Now, here's the thing. The, one, the first thing you want to do is connect. And the best thing you can do is like, share, and comment on somebody else's stuff. When people are posting, you want to be like, share, and, and commenting. Now, here's the thing. When you like, share, comment, there's almost like a point system to it. When you like somebody's thing, you're like, like somebody's post, you're going to get noticed. So if you want to be noticed by somebody, like their stuff. It's simple. You don't need to put yourself out there, right? It's not like you're having to make comments. I know it's scary, so don't worry about it. Just like their stuff. They're going to notice you. You don't have to put comments. So I, that's the thing that everybody fears, right? Don't worry about it. Just like. Sharing, however, is what gives them the big bonus points. When it comes to SEO or search engine optimization, you know when you Google somebody, when you like, share, or comment, they get points. And so when you share their stuff, they get big points. Like gets one point, share gets two points, and sh or commenting gets two points, and sharing gets five points. So share their stuff with your tribe or the people that are connected to you. It's a big deal for them. Share their stuff. You don't have to put yourself out there. All you have to do is share. That is a great way to do it. The second way to really connect and, and convert and really generate leads out on, on online is to build a brand. You can build your own brand by doing all sorts of things. You can be creating, you know, you want to make a commitment out there. You want to really commit to putting yourself out there. And this isn't a lame game, people. You can't just put yourself out there. You've got to be consistent. That's another C. That's a really big C. You have to put good content out there. There's another C, C number three. The content has to be good. It's got to be newsletters. It's got to be blogs or vlogs. Video is huge. You get five times as many views on 
a video as you do, just text. Don't ever just put text out there, people. It needs to have a photo with it. You also want to be putting, you know, um, a really good content, things that people want to read, right? Don't just put lame stuff. And if you're on LinkedIn, don't be putting, you know, memes and stupid stuff. You want to be putting business related content out there. So make sure that your content is good. You also want to be putting consistently. Your readers, the people that are following you, need to know when you're putting it. If you're doing it daily, do it every day. If you're doing it weekly, do it weekly at the same time. It has to be consistent. So that's where that commitment comes in. Make sure you're doing it. It's got to be quality. You want to be making sure that you are contributing to, to the industry, that the stuff that you're doing has, you know, it's got value. People are looking for value. You want to be giving good quality stuff, not just. Okay. The other thing you want to be making sure that if you're going to be doing it, a campaign, so you want to be campaigning people. You also want to be doing building a conversation and you want to be compassionate. That is one of the biggest things you want to be doing out there today. People with the pandemic, ask people how they're doing. Ask them. It's really simple to do. You want to be making sure that you're asking people how they're doing. You don't want to be out there just all about you. It's really about finding out and then putting a call to action at the end. Anyway, let's move on. I want to talk to you about Lisa L. Let me tell you about her. She is amazing when it comes to her wealth management and doing cold calling online. She's going to tell us about her system, but let me tell you a little bit about Lisa. Lisa is the owner of Elements Financial Group. She is host of the Money Makeover podcast and author of the book Strut, How to Kick Financial Assets. This girl, she has, let me tell you, she has more initials behind her name. There are a lot of financial people out there, but she is oh, a superstar in the financial world. Lisa has been a wealth strategist and a certified financial planner for over 21 years, and she is passionate about helping people create financial clarity and fund their dreams. Lisa has an alphabet soup of letters behind her name, and she, uh, oh my gosh, you guys, you got to check her out, I'm telling you, including a degree in management and eight prominent financial designations. Let me say that again, eight people, eight, and she is ranked amongst the highest financial planners in Canada as she holds her fellowship with the Canadian Securities Institute, the most senior credential and highest honor in Canadian financial services. The girl's the bomb. She really is. So anyways, thank you. Thank you for coming in, helping us out here, Lisa. Again, everyone, if you have questions, hey, phone us at 1-866-451-1451. But let's get started. Lisa, Tell us, tell us about your system. How do you do it? How do you, how do you, how do you generate, how do you take those cold calls? What's your system for taking, you know, for reaching out, having cold calls, turning those cold calls into connections and converting them into customers? Please tell. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Jackie. So there's two ways to do it online, really. And it's mm -hmm. one is paid advertisements. And then the other one is organic reach. So with paid advertising, one of the strategies that we've put into place in the past, for sure, that has worked for us, is we run a like a low ticket offer, um, what we call like a baby offer. And we run, you know, Facebook ads, LinkedIn ads, even we've done even Pinterest ads, um, all sorts of great, you know, on all the different platforms. We've run ads um, through whatever I think social platform works well for you and then we when someone does buy it you know you've got a pretty hot lead they're really interested um they're happy to spend you know the five ten twenty dollars on your your baby offer and now you've got someone you want to build a relationship with and connect with so i think so paid is great what yeah kind of offer? what types of things do you what, what's so baby yeah so a bit perfect question so as an example, it would be like a small, short ebook. Um, you can even do your full ebook as well if you have like a full book. Um, you know, selling a book twenty dollars that's a baby offer. Also, like mini courses. Like I have one of the programs I run is what we call the five day money makeover. It's literally a, like a five minute video every day with a little bit of homework to help you organize your financial life. So that would be like an example of a baby offer that we have. Right. And 
when people sign up, naturally you have their email and you can contact them and they do sign up essentially for your email list. And now you've got them as a contact in your CRM and you can continue to nurture that in different ways as well. So that's kind of the paid route we go. Then we also have organic and organic, just the non-paid version on all the different social platforms. But what we are doing there is again, just like you were saying in your opening segment there, but it's like driving that connection, um, social media, um, like with, you know, we're, we're running personally, we're running blogs. We're doing um, promoting our podcast. We're, we're giving them free content, something of value, right. something where they're like, hey, I'm interested in this topic and I like it and I want to learn more. Right. So it's kind of like engaging that conversation in a non creepy way. <laughs> and <laughs> you can kind of see like who's interested. Like you said, who is interested? Who yeah. doesn't look at their likes? Who doesn't check out to see who likes my posts? We're yeah. humans. We're curious who is like watching us. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is, it is a great way. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so that's what we're doing. We're like nurturing them toward, we're just engaging them, nurturing them toward truly capturing their email address so we can then have them on our email list and then nurture that relationship further. Um, you know, share with them what's going on and keep, you know, feeding them content until at some point they realize, yeah, okay, I do need help with this. This is like, a problem and this company is going to help me solve this problem. And you know, that's all sales really is at the end of the day anyways. So we're right. problem solvers, but also the other thing is ident like showing people what problem they have. They don't may not even know that they have a problem that needs fixing. So true, true. But for people who don't have money and you know, who are just starting out, it's great to just do the like share comment thing to get noticed. Right. They can do I agree. that. They don't have to have yes. the whole system, like the opt-in and the, the the CRM and all of that stuff, right? Totally. Because what do we love to do? We love to stalk people. <laughs> we love to like, we do, we want, we're so curious and so nosy to see who's been watching us. So, you know, if you're liking someone's post, they see that like, for sure. Right, right. But it is, it's about nurturing the relationship, right? It's about... And, and what's the goal? What's the goal after you nurture this relationship? What's the number one goal? Besides getting their email address, what is the big goal? Well, the big goal is to get face to face with them to, you know, have get that appointment, have that right. sales conversation, whether it's right. phone or in coffee or, um, you know, however you meet on Zoom, right? Like, yeah. it's getting yeah. that sales call. Yeah, that is the goal, isn't it? It's meeting face to face. That's the big goal. Wow, that's great. Well, listen, there's some really valuable advice there, guys. I hope you got that because, listen, it's paid, it's organic, getting their email, right? Getting out there, just being noticed. I mean, that's the big thing. You can start tomorrow just by getting noticed. That's the big thing. And listen, we need to take a short break here, but come on back because Lisa has got lo a lot more. She's going to talk to you next about how you can get that meeting and when you get that meeting what should you do with it but she's also going to talk which way should you go should you pay for those ads or should you not pay for those ads can you do this without spending money that's the big thing that's what we want to know because listen we all know we we've we've spent a lot of money right we don't all have money to spend so She's going to talk to us more about that. I'm your host, Jackie Rainforth. This is Bull Brave TV Media. Make it rain sales. We will be back after a short media break. Thanks. The opiate epidemic has reached crisis levels. And with so many families affected by addiction, opiate-related drug overdoses and death, the time is now to have a real constructive conversation about addiction that could lead to better prevention, treatment, and recovery. Alan Charles, author and keynote speaker on drug abuse and prevention, presents The Alan Charles Show. Alan brings a message of hope, sharing his unbelievable story of surviving a 24-year addiction to cocaine and and highlights from his memoir, Walking Out the Other Side, an addict's journey from loneliness to life. His raw honesty and courageous heart breaks the stigma of addiction and offers a unique perspective into the mind of an addict. Join Alan each week as he brings his listeners to a true understanding of the grip of addiction. It is only with this understanding that we can begin to heal. The Alan Charles Show, Thursdays at 9 p.m. Eastern on the BBM Global Network. 
Have you ever felt like no one is listening or you're not getting the honest attention you deserve? Do you even know the kind of attention you want or need? You are not alone. Alice Aspen March is here to help. Thanks to Alice, through her epiphany and research over the word attention, there are solutions to the attention dilemma. Worldwide audiences have been enthralled and engaged for over 40 years with her visionary and pioneering observations. The kind of attention we get and give is vital to improving our lives and society. Alice and her weekly guests review game-changing insights for transforming and improving our understanding of attention, providing techniques for creating healthier and empowering behavior. Get a new perspective on a mainstream word. Tune into Why Our Attention Matters for fresh and thought-provoking conversations every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern on BoldBraveMedia.com and the TuneIn Radio app. Welcome back, everyone. It's Jackie Rainforth on Make It Rain Sales. This is Bold Brave TV Media. And today we are talking about connecting and converting via social selling. This is a big deal. We are in a virtual world now and everybody needs to be social selling. Those who social sell make 87% more money than those who don't. So you need to know how to do this stuff. Let me tell you, it is a hot, hot topic. Very, very hot. Today we've got Lisa L. She is a wealth strategist, but she knows how to cold call online. She uses her social media platforms to do this stuff. And listen, we have systems. If you've been in business a while and you've been doing the social selling, you know, we've got systems in place. We've got, you know, social media teams and, and I mean, it, this is big business. It can be very big business teams and CRM and optimization and landing pages and da, 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 da. But it doesn't have to be big. It does not have to be big. And Lisa, tell us, do you know, you told us your system that you've got ads and you do organically and, and, but, but tell us, do you have to pay? Do you have to pay for this stuff? Do you have to pay for ads? My personal opinion is no, you absolutely do not need to pay for ads. Okay. Yeah. We've, oh, we've done that route. We've done that route before. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I've never paid for an ad. I, I have never paid for an ad personally. Um, I use keywords and, and SEO and I tag hashtag and do all that kind of stuff, but I've never paid for, I've never paid, but tell me, tell me about you. You have, you, you, you paid. So tell us more about that. Cause I'd love to know more about that. Yeah, absolutely. So a couple of different things. Um, I was also running ads, um, for my husband's company at the time, this is um, even last year and the year before. And I mean, we were spending um, for his company, which was a local construction company, and we were spending like $200 a day. And it worked well, but it worked well. And those, these were Google ads specifically. It worked well because um, I think it depends on your actual business. Like for starters, I think that's great advice because not all businesses work well. I will say me as a financial advisor, I am competing with big banks. Like, you know, it'd be like me competing with Bank of America or Royal Bank of Canada. I can't compete with their ad budget. Most people can't. <laughs> so, yeah. so when you're doing Google searches, for me personally, as a financial advisor, it wasn't useful for me to run Google ads. But now for my husband's company, when we were running them, we had a, a local construction company. Well, when people were looking for that specific thing, Google ads were amazing. So when we were spending $200 a day, we were generating, you know, a few hundred thousand dollars of sales from those ads. So it worked really well. Um, for me and my business, like I was saying, as for lead generation, when we're talking about, you know, not building those leads, um, I was running again, like something simple, like $20 a day, Facebook ads, we were running, I think, Pinterest was a great platform too. We were running about, you know, five, $10 a day on Pinterest. It's a great search engine. And um, we were generating, you know, a few thousand dollars. But again, it was kind of just offsetting the ads, like for what we spent in ads, it was what we were generating was virtually offsetting. So it wasn't so much a money maker, but it was again, a lead generator. So it was working well. But then what happened and this is this is where the problem comes in with with paid advertising is that we have lost truly we don't really know the reach and so much of it is it's like it, it kind of goes in this black hole you put this money in this black hole known as facebook or linkedin or pinterest you don't really know the algorithms you don't really know who it's reaching you know which is different from if you did a mail out 
snail mail letter or like a local advertisement, you know exactly who's getting the newspaper at their door, who's getting the flyer in their inbox, right? So it is different. Um, you, You don't know. And so what's happened in the last, I don't even know, like six months or so, but Um, A lot of people who've been running paid advertisements, they've lost out big time because Apple on some of the devices, if you've seen it where you log into an app, like say Facebook, and it says ask app not to track um, for ads. Now, a lot of people are saying, no, I don't want you to track my movements. So they're not showing you relevant ads anymore. Well, that's a huge problem because Uh now... Um, advertisers are putting money in and their ads could be going to like a 12 year old or a 80 year old and it may not even be hitting their target market at all so um, it is it is actually a big problem and a lot of um, I've been following a lot of groups and a lot of online advertisers who've actually really struggled and have now had to go to organic because they were spending literally millions of dollars on ads and it's just not working Okay, interesting. Now, it's all based on per click too, isn't it? So yeah. the people that click, so someone might click on it and then go, eh, not interested. And they might not even click through. Like they might accidentally click on it and you're paying for that ad too, correct? Correct, yeah. Right, right. okay, yeah. yeah. So yay or nay, paid ads? I, nay, nay to nay, paid ads. Nay. Right yeah. now. <laughs> right. So you're, you're suggesting we do it organically, right? Absolutely. Right. So that's just, okay, so let's move forward. Let's move forward with that. If we're going to move forward organically, that's basically trying to create conversations online, correct? Yes. Right. Okay. When, okay, so how do we do that? We're going to, we're going to reach out. This is, well, I know for me, this is what I do. I reach out. I provide something of value, something, you know, I, I reach out and I say, hey, I pro- I'm not sure if you're interested. We provide, you know, three sales tips per day on LinkedIn. If you're interested, you know, we try to help elevate your sales skill or focus. You know, I say all sorts of things, but I'll say, if you're interested, please follow us on, on LinkedIn. We'd love to have you. And we're just trying, it's our small way of helping you or your sales teams, you know, blah, blah, blah. And that's what we do. If you, what, what do you do? What, what's your way of providing value on LinkedIn or on you? you Facebook is your platform, right? Facebook and Instagram, I would say, are our main platforms where most of our clients are located. Right. But um, even on LinkedIn, too, we, we do we, we say, hey, you know, thanks so much for following us. And oh, and always say thank you. Just say, yes. hey, thanks so much for the like. It's a great yes. way to organically reach out if someone yes. likes your post. And I have my team helping me with this. But if someone likes your post, you can say, hey, Susie, thanks so much for liking my post. I really appreciate always it. always respond yeah. when someone likes comments or shares if they comment yeah. always try and get that conversation going and keep it going don't close the conversation right yeah. yes yes yeah. and and do that in the direct messages of course yeah so you're creating an off kind of an offside conversation because yeah. um, some people I see do it right on the feed like I see that too and I'm like no you should be doing those more private right like one-on-one conversations but um, we also ask, like, what are, what do you want to hear from us? So one of the things is we ask for suggestions. So we say, hey, what content can we create for you? Like, do you have any financial questions that we can answer? We'd be happy to create a piece of content and, you know, send it out to you when we produce it. You know, it just as another way of, you know, kind of saying, hey, how can we help you? Um, and the other sales tip I've heard a long time ago was um, ask them for a favor. <laughs> It sounds oh. so counterintuitive, yeah, yeah. but I, you probably heard that too. Like, I don't even know the psychology behind it, but they say <laughs> if you ask people for favors, it, it's something about it where they they feel like, you know, you owe them or something. So anyways, it's an interesting, interesting thing. It's like there's different sales things in there. But um, basically, I think it is just keep, keeping, like you said, keeping that conversation open, ask open-ended questions, yes. you know? Yeah, it is. It's and it's about having an everyday conversation, right? It's about having a conversation that you would have like that you and I would have every day, right? It's it's keeping it light. It's it's just having a, a regular everyday conversation. So, what is the one what's the big mistake that people need to avoid when they're having online conversations? 
What's the oh. big thing that everybody does that they shouldn't do, Lisa? Well, <laughs> they're like, I think they're like, I think they're just like asking for the sale right away. They're being too pushy. Right. Yeah. Like everyone, I mean, how many messages do you get a day? <sighs> like how wow. many? And it's like, delete, 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 delete. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Try this. It's try that. This is my service. This is what I do. Buy me. Do this. Do that. Right. It's, it's tough. It's tough. They shouldn't be doing that. They should not be doing that. That's a big mistake that people should not be doing. And, you know, it's what should you be doing? You should be looking for commonality. Like if you know somebody in common, right? If you share, hey, I know so-and-so, you can use that. Or you can say, uh, you, you could also be, you know, it's building rapport. That's what you're trying to do through online. And, you know, with, with, the, with the, pandemic everything's changed we don't have that opportunity to build rapport face to face so you need to do it online and that's what you're trying to do is build that rapport online and that's that's exactly what you're trying to do so that's what those conversations are about right and you're asking for their opinion you could ask for their opinion on something what do you think about this or what do you think about you know, this is a big industry thing. This is a problem right now. Like in my industry, it's about supply. What do you think about this? Um, mm -hmm. Do you think it's it's going to get better? What do you think about, you know, when do you think this is, is this an issue for you in your position or in, in your specific industry, right? You could ask those questions. Those are questions that you're, you're seeking out their expertise as well, which is great. Or you could say things like, hey, great, you give a compliment, great profile you've got. That's another great thing that you can do before you even ask for their connection. That's something as well, right? There are lots of yeah. great things you can do, hey? Yes. But what did, did you have a name for it? Something that people do when they just try and sell you right out of the gate? Oh. What was that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't come to mind right now, but I'm sure there's a good name we can come up with that. <laughs> like, yeah. Slimy, yeah. sleazy. Slimy, <laughs> sleazy. I know. Well, I know I did that. I did a speech not too long ago. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. I did a speech not too long ago. I'll, I'll tell you about that when I get back, the Goldilocks speech, right? We'll talk about that when we get back and we'll talk about some of the other things too. Lisa's got some great advice guys on, on online selling and online social selling and some of the things that you can do. And again, everybody can do this. You know, we can all build a brand. We can all like share a comment on other people's posts. We can all get noticed. You don't need money to do it. Uh, you know, anybody can do this. And I've got a great story uh, about my you about it when we get back but listen this is uh jackie rainforth and lisa l wealth management strategist we will be back it, we're on bold brave tv uh, network here uh they're based out of nyc we will be back and again uh we shall return it <laughs> in a few moments after this commercial break what if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy easysense.com and learn how with your help we can fight these horrific brain disorders that's easysense.com to learn more and help support the broderick foundation author radio show host and coach john m hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective build confidence find clarity achieve goals john m hawkins new book Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. 
Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them, rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Welcome back, everyone. We are getting some great, great productive information with Lisa L. I'm your host, Jackie Rainforth on Make It Rain Sales. This is Bold Brave TV Media. We are here today just, we want to help you make 87% more sales. Yes, earn 87% more because those people that do social selling make 87% more sales. And you don't have to have big teams. You don't have to have big systems. You just need to do it. That's the thing. You need to be committed. You need to be consistent. You need to get out there and just do it. So we're talking about we're talking about getting out there on social selling. You need to pick your platform. That's it. Just pick one. You don't have to be on all of them. I specialize on LinkedIn. Lisa does, you know, she's a wealth management specialist. She does what? Facebook and Instagram, right, Lisa? Yes, you got it. All right. So one of the biggest mistakes that we were talking about that you mentioned is that people are make the mistake of selling. Their first conversation is basically what I call a product dump. This is what I do. This is how great I am. You should buy my product, blah, 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 right? Big mistake. People don't respond to that. We, you were saying, Lisa, what do we need to do? Create conversation, mm-hmm. <laughs> right? You need yeah. to build rapport so that people know, like, and trust you. But what's the other mistake that people make? Well, I think they, Besides dumping, I think they they look at it and think um, this isn't working. <laughs> yeah. And and yeah. then they quit and then they quit. Yeah. Right. So what's the big thing to do? I'm like, what? Why social selling? What is? How do we do this in a non creepy way? We're just building our brand. It's brand recognition. And one of my coaches gave me this advice, and I think it's so important, is that you know you may not get any likes, and it's not about vanity metrics. And I think the problem is we see all these people with their million likes and we feel like, oh, no one's seeing mine. I got two likes from my mom and my dog. <laughs> and, now, <laughs> and now this is useless. I'm just going to stop being online completely because it doesn't work. And yeah. what's really interesting is, and if you've ever watched your behavior, I don't know about you, but I know personally, sometimes I'll scroll and not like anything. Fair enough. After you, Jack, you saying that I should like everyone's stuff, but, <laughs> but still, how many of us scroll and don't like anything or don't like anyone's post, but we're just looking and we see it. We, we can yeah. see people who are in our feed. And the biggest thing is if they kind of know what, what business you're in and you're, they do see your posts, you know, frequently, the thing is when they are ready to buy, or they're in a place where one day they need financial advice or one day they need sales advice or you know, they need to build a garage or whatever it is they're doing, they'll be like, you will be top of mind. So sometimes it's not so much about the likes and everything. It's like you are there, you are present. So when they are ready for you, you appear. And that's why you need to keep posting organically, even if you don't get any likes. (laughs) Well, you know, especially for you and I, I mean, it's so disheartening, right? We, I, I don't know about you. I know I spend a ton of money on my team and it's, it's, it's disheartening. And I, you know, I spend a lot of time answering people and I don't get, I don't get my team to answer. I do all the answering. I do a lot of posting myself. I, you know, I even call it toilet time. Like I make sure that I'm always you know, responding and, and, and I'm always on my phone uh, to my family's dislike sometimes but (laughs) you know it's bad but here's the thing and I get so disheartened because you know I don't have a lot of engagement sometimes and that's why you know thank you for responding I'm so appreciative and I really am salespeople are not going to tell you they are not going to engage they're not going to let anybody know that they're watching a sales expert 
Like it's not like they're going to say, oh, gee, by the way, I'm checking out because I am trying to get better at what I do. Like they don't want their boss to know or their coworkers to know. Right. So they're definitely not going to check it out and let everybody know that they're checking you out. Like so they don't engage. They really don't. I mean, I'm and lucky that same, I have the engagement. Yeah. And same with financial people. No one wants to say, hey, I don't know how to handle my money. I don't know how to invest. I don't know how to get out of debt. I, I am a financial disaster. Like no one is going to say, oh, yeah, please. Like no one is going to post on my con content. Hey, Lisa, I'm a financial disaster. Please help me. <laughs> like know. that's why. So it's you have to know your business, too. I mean, yeah. you know. Yeah. We're not selling cute, fuzzy things that you're like, right. oh, I love it. I want one. <laughs> right. So that's where you have to have the commitment to what you do. And you're right. The, the advice is do not give up. Do not give up. That's, you know, you're providing value. You're helping people. And, you know, you've got to be committed to this. And it, it, it is not for the faint of heart. It really isn't. Um, just know that that you're doing good you're doing good things and and you're really trying to help people and that's that's what it comes down to right lisa absolutely and i want to say too i do follow a lot of women in business who are making millions of dollars a year and i look at their metrics and see who likes their posts they don't have very many likes on their posts either so just because you don't have many likes does not mean you are not making money so don't correlate the two <laughs> Well, and I think it comes down to the type of business that you're in. I think, you know, thanks for, for pointing that out to me. I feel better now knowing. <laughs> you know, it, 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 and what did you call it? Vanity metrics. That's Vanity a, metrics. That's a great word. That's I'm great. not a teenager with 3.5 million views on my YouTube video, right? <laughs> right, right. You know, and the algorithms, right? That's the other thing that I, you know, that I'm struggling with right now. The algorithms cut you off. I mean, I post three times a day. Is it more important that I'm out there giving tips, more tips more frequently, or that I'm cutting off my ability to, you know, reach more people, I guess? I don't know. I, I, I go back and forth. And, you know, there are different trains of thought out there. Because if I post, I'm kind of cutting off the reach to more people versus, you know, being out there some more people can kind of see me more often with the brand. But, you know, I was on Facebook Marketplace buying stuff for my brother once and I, there was a headboard and the guy goes, oh, you're the rainmaker. You, he goes, I follow you all the time. And I'm like, really? Like, I was so excited, right? That somebody recognized me. And that, that makes it all worthwhile. It really does. So, you know, it is about building a brand. It really is. And that's the important part about online selling. And, and you know, I, it's I, it fits with everything that you say, right? It's you're building a brand and you're helping people. And that's what online selling is about. Every once in a while, someone is going to reach out and say, hey, I see you online. I'd like to get, you know, information or you're going to get that customer. But it's not going to happen overnight. And that's what you have to keep in mind is that it's not going to happen overnight. But when you do get those little coffee meetings and those face to face, what, what happens then? How, tell us more, Ms. Lisa. What do you do then? What's well, yeah, I love when you do make the connection. First of all, it's I love one on one conversations. Oh. I think that's where the rubber meets the road kind of a thing in sales. And the thing is, you can really dive deep into what their problem is. I find, I don't know about you, but for me personally, I close like at least 90 to a hundred percent of all my one-on-one -on -one appointments because I can read people. My intuition kicks in. I can see where they're at. The other thing is when you're one-on-one -on -one with a person, you can mirror their behavior yes. and that's building rapport. Mirroring is a sales wonder, but you, you, you match their tone, their tonality, you match their, um, body language you match their energy level um and you can really you know hone in on what it is they need and so yeah i mean that's a, a sales master but getting that like to me that's how i know the second i have a one-on-one -on -one appointment i know the sales in the bag like yeah. but 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 that is the, the goal and um i think when you get to do those conversations they're magical and and plus you tune out the rest of the world you're there for them you're you're in that container that space with them and um I think that's where the magic happens for sure. 
Right. Well, you're obviously a, a well-seasoned pro. I, I was telling you about the, the speech I did called Goldilocks. And I think for those people who don't have their process down, and, and that can be a lot of people that are either new to the business or, you know, people that have forgotten the there is a process to selling. Absolutely. And you need to know what to say and when to say it. Otherwise, it's kind of like driving a car with a blindfold on, right? And Or throwing mud at a wall and, and not really knowing what you're doing or where you're going. You've been doing this for a lot of years, and so you're really good at it. But for some people, you know, uh, it's the coffee date, right? Where someone says, oh, let's go for coffee. And you know exactly what they're talking about, right? They meet you, and 30 seconds later, oh, let's go for coffee. Ah, oh, you know what's coming. And I call it Goldilocks because you know how some people do it, they're too strong and then other people are too soft in their selling approach, right? Some people are too aggressive and other people, they just go round and round and they never get to the point. You need to be just right. And that's why it's so important to know the selling process and to really, you know, hone your craft to know how to be prepared, practiced, and 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 to be good at what you do. And I guess that's it. Have you ever had that happen to you where someone's tried to sell to you and they've either been too aggressive or or too soft in their selling approach? Have you ever had that happen? Oh, absolutely. Like the thing with the aggressive, it's like they don't they it's like they don't even hear you or see you. It's like I don't need that. It's like I never <laughs> needed that in the first place. Or it's kind of like, you know, if someone's pitching you weight loss things or like something where you're like, I, I, you don't even have that problem or something, right? You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, like, okay, I don't even have that problem. You're trying to pitch me a solution that I don't even have the problem to. So yeah, you just completely are turned off because no one's taking the time to listen to you and hear where the problem lies to offer you a solution that's actually helpful. Because anytime you offer a solution that's actually helpful, yeah, most times people are going to go for it, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and then too soft, you're right. I mean, how many coffee dates have you gone on where they just skirted around it? And then like after coffee, they may have texted you or called you and said, oh, hey, by the way, I'm selling, you know, ABC. Do you want some? And it's like, <laughs> well, you didn't even talk to me about this during coffee. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. It's it's not good. It's not good. I had someone call me and say, oh, can I have a two-hour meeting with you? And I'm like, two-hour meeting? Are you kidding? <laughs> like, ay yeah, ay 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 Yeah, it's it's not good. And, and, but, hey, listen, you need to, yeah. I mean, that's a whole other episode, right? On face-to-face <laughs> -face meetings and, and knowing what to say and when to say it and, and really knowing how to, to listen and to ask the right questions so that you know what their need is. But that's, yeah, that's, that's a whole other group of, of episodes, but we'll talk about that later. But listen, let's, let's, we'll recap in the next episode or in the next segment. And we're going to talk about, I'll give you my number one tip. Yes. For dun, dun, dun. I'll give you some tips as well for overcoming resistance when cold calling. I'll give you my number one tip. Although, wow, Ms. Lisa, you've had some great pieces of advice, great tips. I love that. What'd you call it? Vanity? Metrics. Met Matrix. Oh, that's good. I've got to write that down when we're done. That's really good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to talk about all sorts of great things. We're going to wrap this up. We're going to talk about all the freebies. We, we didn't have anybody call in, which is kind of shocking today. You guys, you guys, I'm sure you have lots of questions. Social selling, how you can make 87% more money when you follow these easy tips and this Lisa's simple system for organically growing your business. This is Jackie Rainforth. I'm your host here on May, on, on uh, Make It Rain Sales on Bold Brave TV. We will be back in a few minutes. We shall see you soon. The opiate epidemic has reached crisis levels, and with so many families affected by addiction, opiate-related drug overdoses, and death, the time is now to have a real constructive conversation about addiction that could lead to better prevention, treatment, and recovery. Alan Charles, author and keynote speaker on drug abuse and prevention, presents The Alan Charles Show. Alan brings a message of hope, sharing his unbelievable story of surviving a 24-year addiction to cocaine and 
and highlights from his memoir, Walking Out the Other Side, an addict's journey from loneliness to life. His raw honesty and courageous heart breaks the stigma of addiction and offers a unique perspective into the mind of an addict. Join Alan each week as he brings his listeners to a true understanding of the grip of addiction. It is only with this understanding that we can begin to heal. The Alan Charles Show, Thursdays at 9 p.m. Eastern on the BBM Global Network. Have you ever felt like no one is listening or you're not getting the honest attention you deserve? Do you even know the kind of attention you want or need? You are not alone. Alice Aspen March is here to help. Thanks to Alice, through her epiphany and research over the word attention, there are solutions to the attention dilemma. Worldwide audiences have been enthralled and engaged for over 40 years with her visionary and pioneering observations. The kind of attention we get and give is vital to improving our lives and society. Alice and her weekly guests review game-changing insights for transforming and improving our understanding of attention, providing techniques for creating healthier and empowering behavior. Get a new perspective on a mainstream word. Tune into Why Our Attention Matters for fresh and thought-provoking conversations every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern on BoldBraveMedia.com and the TuneIn Radio app. Hey, welcome back, everybody. It is Jackie Rainforth. We are here on Full Brave TV Media. Make it rain sales. And listen, if you're social selling, you can make it rain sales. Yes, you can. Because, da da da, did you know 90% of top earners are social selling? Yes, 90% of those top earners are social selling. With the pandemic and all of this that's going on, it is about being online, picking your platform, and getting out there, liking, sharing, commenting, creating conversations, and getting out there and doing what you need to do to connect and convert online. And Lisa has shared her system, both paid and organic, building up a funnel, offering those baby offers, getting people interested so that we can have get those email addresses, create those conversations. She doesn't really believe in those paid ads. She believes in organically creating those conversations, not selling, not, let me say that again, not create, not doing a product dump and selling in the first conversation. You need, like any regular conversation, you need to build rapport with people. It needs to be like any regular conversation. You need to build rapport. You need to find commonality. You need to, you know, ask for their opinions, their thoughts, things that matter. Anything that really, you know, ask for their expertise, all of those things. Open-ended conversations. That's what you're looking, that's what you're looking for. With the goal, with the goal of having a face-to-face -face meeting just like you would in a telephone reach out. It's the same thing. Once you have that that face to face, then it's a whole other that's a whole other episode people. But listen, we want to thank Lisa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Great pieces of advice. She's really really Oh, oh are you going to take my call? She's, it's been wonderful. So, the other thing she said don't pay for ads, guys. Apple's changed things for us. She said, do it organically. I've talked about the three stages of connecting and the eight C's, right? Now, again, thanks for sticking with us. For those of you who have stuck with us, we've got a special gift. Oh, I forgot to give you my number one tip for resistance when cold calling. Now, it doesn't matter if you're online or whether you're doing this live. My number one tip, this is it. Are you ready? Number one tip for getting past resistance. Lisa did, gave us a good one, but here, this is mine, okay? Number one tip, ask for help. Just say, hey, I was wondering if you could help me. Yeah, that's it. Who's gonna say, no, I'm not gonna help you. People are gonna say, oh, how can I help you? That's right, whether you're trying to get past the gatekeeper or you're talking to somebody, right? When you ask for help, it automatically responds within their brain to lower their resistance. It does, so ask for help. I was wondering if you could help me. And then say, hey, uh, who do you know, right? Not do you know, but who do you know that might be able to, or you know, wondering if you know someone that could help me with this, or 
if you ever, right? Whatever question you have for them, I was wondering if you could help me. It is the number one thing you can do to get past the resistance when cold calling. There you go. That's my number one tip. Anyway, thanks for sticking with us today. We've had some great, great information on social selling. You don't have to be a, mil a billionaire, a millionaire. You don't have to have fancy systems. You just need your phone. That's it. You need to be committed. You need to be consistent. Those are the two C's. There's actually eight. If you write into us at info at raymakersgroup.ca, we will send you a booklet on our eight C's of actually the three stages and the eight C's. You can write us at info at Raymakers Group and we will send you a booklet on connecting and converting at social via social selling. Yes, send it in info at Raymakers Group. .ca and we will send you connecting and converting via social selling. So there you go, guys. And yeah, and because we've got great Christmas around the corner, if you also send us info at rainmakersgroup.ca, send us a little note, we will send you a downloadable copy of The Badass Guide to Superstar Selling. We will give you a free copy of our book, my book. Yes, free copy of my book. The Badass Guide to Superstar Selling. If you want it, we've got it. It is filled with all sorts of great stories and great stuff. Again, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. The Badass Guide to Superstar Selling. We appreciate you tuning in. We appreciate you watching. So again, if you want the downloadable copy of The Badass Guide to Superstar Selling, just send us a quick email and we will send it out to you for free. Yeah, so there you go. If you want either one of those things, just send us your email. And again, we will do that. So again, thanks, Lisa. She is the wealth strategist. She is a cold caller extraordinaire. She has given us some great tips to help up-level your sales skill, up-level your productivity. We want to help you so that you can really increase your sales. We want next year to be a phenomenal year for you. Social selling is the way to go. You know, it's about connecting and converting your sale, or converting those connections online. Pick your social media platform. You don't have to be doing them all. Make sure that you're, you know, that you've got some really great content that you can put out there. Put that content out there, provide it for free. Make sure it's got value, value, value. Again, I am, Jackie Rainforth. This is Bold Brave TV Media. We are here on Make It Rain Sales because we want to make sure that we help you make it rain sales in your world. Again, see you later. See you next week. Oh, next week. Oh, I have to tell you who we have next week. We've got Candace Wirch. She's coming on. She's a hypnotherapist and she is an expert on mindset. She's going to be talking about uh, strategies, mindset strategies to overcome some of the things that keep you stuck. Are you self-sabotaging your sales efforts? Are you sabotaging your sales? Mm -hmm. I don't care if you are new to sales, if you're a business owner, if you're a seasoned veteran to sales, we all have a little bit of self-sabotaging behavior. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. She's going to give us the tips and tricks to stop it. So there you go. That's next week. Again, Jackie Rainforth on Bold Brave TV Media on Make It Rain Sales. See you next week. Bye-bye. This has been Make It Rain Sales with host Jackie Rainforth. Join us each week for a unique, engaging, and interactive new way to have your sales questions answered and start taking your sales from stalled to unstoppable as you make it rain sales in your business. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.